here for 64K and welcome to a new special. I'm calling it Amiga Quest. And welcome back. So I'm heading out to an area called Abbotsford. It's about an hour, hour's drive for me from my place. I saw this guy online. He has an Amiga 500 for sale in box. Comes with a disc box with about 60 discs full of games. The only problem is it's an untested Amiga. So he wanted 200. I said I'll give you 50 bucks for it, and because I'm taking all the risk. And he agreed to that, so I'm getting Amiga 500 untested. So that's what this quest is all about to see whether I see whether it's gonna work or not. I'm gonna go pick it up, all the games as well. They are bootlegs, but it's a whole disc box full of them, which is still awesome to me. I don't really care. <laughs> So I'm about halfway there, about 30 minutes to go, and I'm a little bit bored, so I thought I'll play a quick game. I got a couple of uh, Amiga soundtracks here on the CD, and I'll play a few of them, and you can see how many of them you can guess right. I'll have the answers at the end of the show, see how good your Amiga knowledge is. Okay, so I'm almost here. I think it's just up ahead. If I got the numbers correct. And yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm just gonna pull over here. And I'll be back in a sec. Hopefully with a working Amiga. So I took a quick peek of it back there. It looks like it's in really good condition. So I'm gonna beeline it home so I can check it out. Let's go. Okay, I'm back home. I've taken the Amiga and all the extra stuff out of the box. I'll show you everything right now. And count the box. It's a bit beat up, but that's okay because I didn't actually have a box for an Amiga, so this is pretty cool. On the flip side, you've got all the goodness. Defender the Crown, one of my favorites. Marble Madness, a leaderboard. The Amiga setup over there. Now let's check out everything that came in the box before we hook the system up and hope it works. Came with a bunch of manuals, got the video adapter, a bit of a programming guide, and also the introduction to the Amiga. All useful stuff. He has all the discs. We're gonna actually go through and check out all these games, everything that worked. I'll show footage for every single game and we'll see that a little bit later. Also came with our mouse, which works quite well. And here it is, the beast itself. It's in pretty damn good condition, just look at it. Love that Commodore logo up there. Okay, so I got the Amiga set up here. I'm just about to hook everything up. Just from looking at it again, cosmetically it looks absolutely fantastic. I've hardly done any cleaning on it. I've just wiped it a little bit and it looks awesome. So that's pretty good. It looks like the person kept it in excellent condition and going by the disc box with all the games, the games look like they, the discs are in great condition too. So definitely a person that really took care of this, which is a good sign. So let's hook it up and uh, hope for the best. Okay, it's all hooked up, so let's try it. I'll slap this on. Oh. 
Yes! <laughs> Outrun. Check if the sucker works. Take a few seconds here. And. sampling software <laughs> as you can see it's looking really good let's give it a go Okay, so I'm going to do a quick run through of all the games that worked here. All of this is recorded raw off this Amiga. 80% of the discs all worked. I'm going to skip the 7 dead discs, also the ones that are on multi discs. I'm not going to show you the second or third disc or something. So with that out of the way, let's check these games out.
event, the DMA Design Game. Okay, I'm just busy loading up some Street Fighter. I'm gonna torture myself into the end credits here. <laughs> anyway, I'm very happy that this worked. I was very lucky, got a pretty really low price, tons of games, I'm still playing through all of them. Anyway, thanks for joining me, Bastish B at 64K. If you liked this episode, please like and subscribe. That'll be greatly appreciated, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.